Good morning everyone. The uh, weather's turned a bit cold. It's now uh, coming from the south, which was to be expected. They were forecasting that. We've had a bit of rain. Um, definitely not as much as some areas, so pretty thankful for that. Um, still pretty soggy the ground. But um, yeah, just shifting the calves. They're getting silage at the moment, as you can see. And uh, yeah, so got a few different jobs we're going to try and get done today. Between the showers, we've got cold southerly showers blowing through. Um, yeah, so we're planning on drying off tomorrow. Just with it being so wet, we can't keep trying to keep the cows tight. They're just making a mess, so uh, it's easier just to dry off and then we can look after them that way. Here comes another one of those miserable showers blowing through. Yeah, one of those. Yep. And then big staple. Is there a big staple in there? Uh, there you go, there. Yeah, I need that. And I need another one because I got to do the other gate. So what uh, we did yesterday? Sorry about the wind. Uh, so there used to be two old gates going across there, double gates to as a gate for the paddock there. Um, I got a cheap 14-foot gate from Gold Pine for 50 bucks because it's slightly bent, which doesn't worry me. And it fits perfectly across here. So we're gonna latch it onto, onto this strainer. And then this, this gate here had this gate, which was a bit short, had another post there. Um, so yeah, now we've got a gate that goes right across, so it's a bit wider. It was a bit narrow coming through with the spreader, so that should make it a bit easier. So we just gotta put these, put these on, and it's done. And one other thing I need to, dig an underground cable in here because there is one there but I think that it's um, got a short in it somewhere so I'm going to put a new one in and that just takes power down that way so it's nice to finally get out of the wind find a little sheltered spot to work Dad, Dad, can we touch the fence? no, don't touch the fence so this is classic so see that's a uh, electric it's the old um i don't know what you would call it the place where you hook the gate on gates over there comes across um so that way there is going to have power in it 6.8 that's pretty strong so if we uh, lift that off or cut it off Seven. Man, I'm not used to having this much power. There's still a bit of a short in that direction. You can see it's drawing five amps that way. So that's all right. But, but uh, seven is, man, that's very good power. So these four heifers here, they're going to the, well they're not going to the sale tomorrow, they're actually going um, to another farmer. Someone else has bought them, they're empty. But this one here is Rosie, and she was a calf club calf. And the grazier said she's friendly, but she might not be friendly towards me. Just giving them some silage. So yeah, they're going on the truck tomorrow, so. We are. We're actually drying off tomorrow. I think I said that earlier. So I've just fed out those two bales for the cows for now. I'm going to bring them down closer to the shed. Pretty much trying to keep the udders clean. It's meant to be clearing up. It's meant to be nice tomorrow. So the weather's looking good. Uh, I'm just trying to spread them out a bit. So they've been up at a paddock. 
Uh, you, it's nearly three o'clock now, so they've been there most of the day. So I'm bringing them down, putting them in a, a paddock close to the shed here with some fresh grass in it. And two bales of silage, quite dry silage, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's uh, drying off prep done. So I'm gonna ship them down there shortly. Come on, girls. Look at that sunshine. Oh. Girls, come on. Don't they look good with the sun shining against them? You see it's muddy. It's really muddy. Really soft underfoot. Yes, it's been a wet season and a bit of a difficult season for some. But just um, with the ground not really drying out a lot, it, it means that we get a bit of rain and it just gets really muddy. That green looks lovely. Look at the view. Magical today. I haven't seen so much blue sky for ages. We're still getting an odd shower blow through. You can see on the horizon over there, you can see that grey. You are just a, the showers just seem to build up and blow through. So that's sort of one of the reasons the weather is one of the reasons why we're drying off now. Everyone sort of, well, we you always sort of have that ambition to milk to the end of May, but that's very weather dependent, cow dependent, and also if you have something on you need to, you know, you need to go to, well, that determines when you dry off. Well, it does for us. So, yeah, so the main, main reason why we're drying off now is our sow count's going up a fair bit, and we've decided to, I talked to the vet about it, and we're going to blanket dry cow the last 159 cows, so they're, they're all getting dry, four week dry clocks and teat seal, um, just to try and pull that sow count back a bit. So for drying off, normally we do the same plan, which is selective dry cow. And so we dry cow anything with a sow count over 150. Um, so we've done that for the past eight years, I think. But in that time, our average sow count is slowly rising. We don't seem to have a mass mastitis problem as such, but what's happening is that sow count is slowly rising, so um, it's up to 292 at the moment. Uh, that's sort of the highest I've seen it for a long time. So that's what made me think, well, maybe we should look at um, blanketing the herd with uh, dry cow. Just to try and pull it back a bit so that uh, we keep our sow count down. So it's not something that I want to do all the time. Um, yeah, so, but we're going to choose to do it this time. And we've had a talk to the vet about it, and it's still okay to blanket dry cow. And technically, technically, we haven't blanket dry cow because the cows that we dried off earlier, some of those had teat seal, just teat seal, and other ones had um, dry cow. So, yeah. Other than that, it is a lovely afternoon, isn't it, Anders? Is it a lovely day? Isn't it nice to see the sunshine? Yeah. <laughs> So we just helped my dad water blast uh, a high point uh, no. on his house, didn't we? Did we help Pop? No. Did we help Pop? Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The With his tractor, were you riding in his tractor room? Mm. Mm. Well, I'd be pretty happy in there. Good feet of silage, dry silage, it's almost like hay, and a bit of grass. So, another reason why I wanted to put them in here is this one here got drilled with um, Hogan, which is an annual, and I just want them to eat it off lightly. So they shouldn't eat too much of the grass out here. They shouldn't, you know, eat it down real hard. So. Raining again. 